Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha. My name is Emmy Ortega Anderson. We want to welcome you to Pinoy Power Hawaii. It is our uh, maiden voyage, our first show for uh, our weekly show for Think Think Tech Hawaii. Again, I'm going the opportunity to enjoy Think Tech Hawaii. Uh, iti linawas nga programa, and we will be conversing in three languages, uh, Itaglish, Ilocano, Tagalog, and English. Uh, first, I'd like to thank uh, the whole wonderful staff of uh, Think Tech Hawaii, uh, especially Mr. Jay uh, Fidel, for extending this invitation to be a part of their wonderful programming. Our maiden uh, show, Iti umuna nga programa tayo, iti da ito'y nga aldaw, uh, ket uh, importante la unay. Very, very important. Uh, our guest today, I've extended uh, an invitation for Joshua De La Cruz. He is a guidance counselor. Uh, ket uh, i-explicar mi, kakapsat gagayem, iti importante ti adal, education. Uh, Iso iti kapatgan nga gameng uh, no may panggap ka rin uh, sagot, the gift that we will pass down to our children and our future generations. So without further ado, I would like to introduce my guest, Joshua De La Cruz. He is an educator, a guidance counselor. So welcome, Joshua. Thank you so much for for allowing me to be part of this. Uh, I'll try my best to do, uh, to speak in all three languages. Uh, <laughs> uh, but again, I, it's it's an awesome honor to be here. Thank you for allowing me to be part of this. Yes, uh, like I mentioned, this is our first uh, show, mm -hmm. and it's really, really important that we address education. Yes. Um, it was a concern to me, but before we go on, mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how you got started uh, in education. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the funny thing is, I'm glad you asked that because both of my parents are have backgrounds in education. They 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 started off as teachers, and uh, when they immigrated here to Hawaii, uh, they found their different paths. Uh, mm -hmm. My mom was in uh, worked for the state. For quite some time, and my dad was in the military, um, and also is now working for the federal government now. Yeah. Uh, so my roots with education definitely w was very deep, um, and. For me, I initially started off uh, as a pre-med major at the University of Hawaii. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, but before that, I used to work at summer camps. I had the background of working with our Hawaii's youth, our Episcopal youth, uh, through church. Mm -hmm. And I used to work with our uh, diocesan bishops and everything like that. So we, I would co collaborate with a lot of youth uh, to work with all these teenage programs um, around around the state. So I, that's my exposure with kids. And as I went through college, um, the science part was definitely exciting. However, mm -hmm. the passion was with kids. And so I shifted from pre-med, and I kind of com com uh, combined the two. Uh, mm -hmm science as well as kids, and I became a science teacher instead. And I started out uh, way back in 2001 at Waianae High School. I started out Wai as a... I. Yes, yes. So, uh, you know, and... You dove right into it, huh? I did, I did. <laughs> and, you know, they were the first school to offer me a position, and I was so grateful. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what, if they believed in me, they were the first school to offer me that position. I said, you know what, let's let's go with Waianae. And, I, and I, I, I enjoyed it since, you know. And um, so, going back, sorry, uh, I started out as for four years. I was a, a science science teacher. Mm -hmm. I taught chemistry and biology, and then um, I slowly got into just talking with the kids and understanding where they come from and knowing their frustrations, especially in that in that age group. And then I I started thinking about you know what maybe I should start going into counseling. Mm -hmm. And I I spoke with some of my friends who were counselors at the school, and uh, they led me to the the right people and. I decided to pursue my master's in counseling at Chaminade University, and that's where I, I kind of leaped into going into counseling. So working with kids, definitely, direct, in a direct way. 
I'm really impressed. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, I always uh, see Joshua as uh, the kid, uh, being that uh, the father, uh, Tante de la Cruz, is also a part of our Pinoy Power Radio for uh, about 10 years now. Yes. So part of our empowerment, uh, we do have a mission on Pinoy Power Radio, mm -hmm. which extends to our weekly show here at uh, Pinoy Power Hawaii. Mm -hmm. uh, we aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and the big picture picture is to empower yes and you are doing just that mm, um, yeah. and probably more important uh, important tell una ita the gitay ubing mm -hmm. iti pangrogyam mm -hmm. nga mangtulong kasla mang mold uh, mm -hmm. iti uh, the career mm -hmm. may panggap iti uh, education o no adult mm -hmm. so um, you know we are often asked Joshua uh, some people are given uh, the, the choice. Anya ti they tay piliam, they toy kwarta when no adult education. Right. And I'm sure you've heard that before. Yes. Um, a student is or a child from a well-off family is mm -hmm. offered like a million dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay, as mm -hmm. opposed to uh, spending or getting educated, mm -hmm. because nowadays education can cost a lot of money. Oh yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and yes. Uh, if you had the choice of just taking the million dollars or get educated for life and uh, impact uh, people mm -hmm. and help them mold them to uh, uh, get better educated. Right. What would that choice be? You know, um, and for I speak for every teacher. I know mm -hmm. we don't we don't go into this profession uh, making a lot of money. And I think we look at it's more of a lifelong kind of thing, um, mm -hmm. and where we see the riches with the kids that we teach and that we touch every day. Um, Every June, every May and June, we always see a lot of our former students come and see and, mm -hmm. and they share their successes. And for us, that is that is our million dollars per se. Yes. And that, that is for, for me, is a lot more fulfilling than just a million dollars at hand, you know. And I think for me, it's, it's I think I wouldn't trade that for, for the world, basically. Wow, you know? I'm, I'm, really, <laughs> I'm really impressed um, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, with uh, society <clears throat> molding us to always think about the big uh, dollar numbers yes, and yes. our success. They do it always uh, measured in, in dollar amount. Yes. You know, in fact, yeah. they often <clears throat> ask, oh, what kind of car do you drive? Right. Or where do you live? Mm -hmm. And right away, you are labeled yes. as yes. being successful successful because of uh, your monetary wealth. Right, right. And uh, it really, really touched my heart to mm -hmm. hear you say that uh, uh, success is measured on the wealth of people that you uh, inspire, mm -hmm. uh, you motivate, mm -hmm. or uh, become an idol. Mm -hmm. uh, and those are your uh, richly rewards. Yes. Earthly yes. rewards. Yes. And you know, I think you take a look at several of our our, our former leaders and our com our community leaders. Uh, you take a look at, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Martin Luther King. You take a look at mm -hmm. uh, Gandhi, Indira Gandhi. Mm -hmm. You know, there are those who don't live amongst you know the wealthy people, right? Uh, but they they live with within the riches of their heart and their compassion. And I think, um, and that's why I I believe that. Teachers, uh, they're going into this profession and they see this as a, the most noble profession. Mm -hmm. um, and I still see it as um, today. Uh, however, you know, there are several people out there that may not consider it mm -hmm. as, as, a, as a, a noble profession. Uh, but I think. Or a major achievement. Or a major, yes. You, yes. Know, um, you know, I think that would, I, a lot of. Uh, people would consider that as their fallback. Mm -hmm. If I can't do this, then I'll just teach. You know, that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Um, so for me, it's, I, I want to bring that back. I want to bring back the glory of teaching, um, the importance of teaching. And mm -hmm. I think we all, we all got somewhere in life because of a teacher because of a teacher, not necessarily a formal teacher. It could be a mentor. It could be a big brother, a big sister that teaches you something. But the art of teaching and the way, the, the love of teaching is always yes. going to be there. Yeah. 
Wow, that's deep. Nagsaya atin nga denggen, gagayem ken kakapsat, gaputa ni Josh Rocket, and you know, ubing pay but na unag iti pinagpampanunot na. And dagito'y kayat ng masagrap. It's something that someone with a really, really cultured mind Kas kada kita in mention mo Indira Gandhi, Martin Luther King, dagito yung andang anta yung wala mo Joshua gapo iti kina bakdang da in terms of monetary wealth that they have acquired. But dagiti nagapuan da dagiti tugot da ng imbati da Martin Luther King being leader dagita yung talagang in the ulo na dagito yung tatao tatap non adu met lang ti dete masagrat da and to overcome dagito yung Challenges, discrimination, may panggap ka digiti nangisit nga tatao, kaspagarigan, and constantly digita yai may pipanta iti bakbakrang wano iti likod gaputa na you know discrimination is alive and well even today. Yeah, oray digiti kolor tayo nga brown nga kudil tayo kaya at at dargi tay champo nga ma experience sa tayo dargi tay nga discrimination and I'm sure you have experienced those one way or another yes yeah so gapo ka dargi tay isong kayat ming reiterate wano ipalagip iti importante iti adal so right now can you just share with our listening audience in Ilocano I'll try my best yes the best way to reiterate again iti kine importante iti adal oh gosh you're gonna put me on the spot here with my Ilocano skills you know, I'm sorry. I'll, 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 you can I'll add a it. few. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll add a few in. Um, the just the importance of education. Um, uh, when no, um, they get, you know, they get the, the, your dreams. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's always going to be launched on where you want to go and how far you really want to get to that. And you can't do that without education. Mm -hmm. um, and you can't do that, uh, I, and I believe that you can do that with the right mentor, the, the right, the right teacher. You know, um, and whether it be whether it be the formal teacher, whether it be a professor, yes. whether it be a priest, a mm -hmm. clergyman, whether it be a professional that you see that you want to embody, um, that's where. You know, that's I believe that's where the spark is. That's that's where. That's the uh, stepping stone. Yes. Umunang yeah. uh, they uh, step uno lakad. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think. Ito tole tanto iti conversation tayo, uh, Joshua. Mm -hmm. We need to uh, take a, a quick. Uh, break mm -hmm. and actually they talk it the uh the topic of the that i'll do work up that get adal it the uh that they uh important la una in a gaming day toy na ipasa tayo para karigit the uh future generation Hi, I'm Dave Stevens, the uh, host of Cyber Underground, uh, every Friday here at 1 p.m. on thinktechhawaii.com. And then every episode is uploaded to the Cyber Underground, that library of shows that you can see of mine on youtube.com. And uh, I hope you'll join us here every Friday. We have some topical discussions about why security matters and what could scare the absolute bejesus out of you if you just try to watch my show all the way through. Hope to see you next time on the Cyber Underground. Stay safe. Hey, Stan the Energy Man here on Think Tech Hawaii. And they won't let me do political commentary, so I'm stuck doing energy stuff, but I really like energy stuff, so I'm gonna keep on doing it. So join me every Friday on Stan the Energy Man at lunchtime, at noon, on my lunch hour. We're gonna talk about everything energy, especially if it begins with the word hydrogen. We're gonna definitely be talking about it. We'll talk about how we can make Hawaii cleaner, how we can make the world a better place, 
just basically save the planet. Even Miss America can't even talk about stuff like that anymore. We got it nailed down here. So we'll see you on Friday at noon with Stan the Energy Man. Aloha. Welcome back to Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson. And uh, again, we want to thank Think Tech Hawaii for giving us the opportunity to discuss further uh, the issues and topics that uh, affects Filipinos here in Hawaii. Uh, my first guest for our maiden voyage is an educator, a guidance counselor. In fact, he is my nephew, and I'm very, very <laughs> proud, uh, Joshua De La Cruz. We are talking about the importance of education and uh, how we can pass on this uh, legacy how we can inspire others, and uh, I thought about uh, who is uh, the best person to have uh, on uh, my show to inspire others and to uh, share his story. So we're doing just that. Uh, Joshua, thank you for being here. Thank you. And thank you for being such a wonderful idol and example oh. to our youth. Oh, thank you. So the next question I'm going to ask you is why? What, what is Joshua's why as to you present? pursued education? Well, thank you for ask, uh, asking me that. Um, you know, it, the education, the art of teaching, um, it's, it's, I would consider that, I think, the biggest gift that I think that I've been blessed with. Mm -hmm. um, the passion for kids, uh, or just to even teach, just teach, uh, not necessarily kids, but just people in general. Yes. Um, and to just share uh, the compassion and um, to share the knowledge that I have. Mm -hmm. um, I think for me that was, as soon as I got into it, uh, into education, into teaching, um, you know, I always, I even doubted myself in the beginning. I said, I don't know if this is right for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it was very stressful. Um, working with 30 kids all at one time, trying to just, you know, try to handle all, all of them, you know, yeah, and in, in a short, keep, short amount of time, you know. Keep them interested. Yeah, yeah, you're literally entertaining them. Yes. You're literally entertaining them for the good 45 minutes. Yes, um, yes. And uh, yes, I, 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 I found that as a huge, uh, a huge hurdle for me to overcome. A challenge. Yes, a huge challenge. Mm -hmm. um, and the more that I thought about it, um, I just looking at the kids um, engage, the way they engage, the way they, their, their, their sense of wonder. Mm -hmm. As soon as I see that, I go, oh my gosh, this is why I'm here. Um, and I, I love that. And not, not, not only that too, is that um, I just, as I realize, as I go throughout these, I've, I've been a teacher for almost 19 years now. 19 so. years? <laughs> and you're only yes. 19? Yeah, no. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so, you know, the more that I, I, I see that and I reflect back on, on this profession, um, I'm like, oh my goodness, these teachers are the most resourceful, most mm -hmm. savvy uh, people um, because they're, they make magic with whatever they have. You yeah, know. the little budget that they're allowed. Yes, yes, uh -huh. yeah. So you have to use a lot of imagination, yes. creativity. Yes, And yes. this is where science comes yes, to play. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yeah. And so that's what I love about that. Every, every day is a brand new day, but every day there's always going to be an opportunity to learn. Whether mm -hmm. the whole class learns, whether it's a handful of kids that learn, there's a sense of learning that's going on every day in their classroom. And that's, for me, that's, that's the most exciting, exciting. part. Exciting. Yes, yes. yeah. So it, it's 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 a journey. It is. It's it an is. adventure because uh, uh, depending on how you tackle or how you handle uh, the the uh, challenging um, uh, situation, mm -hmm. uh, when no the the pinigi present mo iti the the election, when no the the na duma duma ng kayat mo ng iburay kada kwada, depende no kasano ti pinangosar mo iti panono. It's the imagination mm -hmm. uh, non masagrap da, so yes. that they will be able to uh, catch on. Yes. It's the lection mm -hmm. nga kayat mga iburay wano ibati kada kwada, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, the next question mm -hmm. is: I know that uh, I was looking at the statistics, Joshua, and mm -hmm. there are over uh, two hundred seventy-five thousand. 
uh, Filipinos and part Filipinos in Hawaii. Yes. And uh, we make up, uh, I believe, 23 percent mm -hmm. of uh, the population. Uh, we are known as the largest minority ethnic group, mm -hmm. right? Right yes. behind the Haoles or the, the white, yes. the Caucasian. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, mas daawak la unay ti kinaado tayo because mm -hmm. we are the fastest growing yes. um, as far as the ethnicity mixture here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. uh, truly, it's a melting pot. Uh, we are very proud of the fact that uh, Filipinos keep growing in numbers. Yes. And this is why we need people like you to mm -hmm. represent the underrepresented Filipinos. I know we are very well represented in the caregiving or care home business. Yes. I think we are all overly flooded with that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yes. But uh, education, adal, importante la unay nga lakad, importante la unay nga parte iti daytoy success tayo. Whether nga agbali igita yu when no saan. Some people, uh, go on life without having any formal education no, yeah no. and w we will uh, have guests too that have succeeded mm -hmm. but they will do it much easier with uh, formal education and training mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yes. because not all of us are born with th that gift to ability, uh, their ability to uh, succeed right. without having some form of education. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So, the kaya ko nga ni iti na batbati pa nga panawen kaya how could you uh, entice or attract? the young generation so that they will be thinking of having education as their platform. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. Uh, you know, um, I guess for me this is an opportunity to sell, you know, yes. try to promote education. Yes. You know, yes. If, if you're a person that um, just loves just working with kids in general, mm -hmm. and also, um, a, a, again, a, a, it's a brand new day every day. Um, there's always going to be an adventure. It's mm -hmm. always going to be exciting to just work with the kids and work with um, whatever y y group that you're working with. Mm -hmm. um, just, just knowing that you're out there teaching them, um, for me, that's already that's already exciting in itself. Yes. Um, and just reaching out to the community, I think for me, you know, that's the ultimate community service is to teach. And we have so many empowered Filipinos, young Filipinos out there, um, who are thinking, I don't know what else to do. You know, I, I I'm all, I'm stuck behind a desk. I'm always um, I, mm -hmm. I I'm all constantly working nine to five. That kind of st kind of stuff. Um, teaching allows that fluidity. Um, you can t you can teach anywhere basically. I mean, of course you have your classroom, but you can take them to places virtually. You can you can take them to different different mm -hmm. learning experiences all in one day. And yes, for me, without that's, having to leave the classroom. Yes, you know, right. and that's the exciting mm -hmm. part. Uh, you can create plays. You can dramatize a lot of things. Mm -hmm. You can entertain them. You can create involve song. Um, there are so many gifted kids out there, so many young people are, who, are, who share so many different gifts that yes. why not bring that into the classroom and expose them to so many different things. And there's no better person to do the job uh, uh, than you, Joshua, mm -hmm. because uh, you serve as a role model, a leader yes. with uh, so many uh, inborn resources yeah. because these are talents that you're born with. Yes, yes. You know? yeah. you got to allow your creativity. Yeah. And... Um, uh, with the remaining time that we have left, mm -hmm. I wish we had a whole hour, <laughs> but what is that legacy that you want to leave behind? I know we talked about it, but yes. uh, please uh, leave that. You know, for me, my legacy is to give back. Um, I'm currently working with the Waipahu Community Association. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so give back to the community, whether it be um, involving um, uh, community service, mm -hmm. whether it be just educating them about Waipahu or the community that I'm in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also working with Waipahu High School and our student leadership conference. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'm trying to help work with our future leaders. 
you know, so my future aspirations is always just to give back. Give back. Um, you know, one way or the other, mm -hmm. whether it be donation, whether it's spending my time with right. these kids, whether it be the auxiliary person that people need, you know. Yes. Um, again, it's a servant. It's, it's, it's being a servant to the community. Wow. And for me, that's... That's my, that's a legacy that's I want. That's your legacy. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you've heard it, uh, a, a touch of uh, Joshua De La Cruz, our educator, guidance counselor, who wants to give back, paying it forward. Mm -hmm. It's just like uh, paying tithing uh, for all the blessings that you have been uh, blessed with. And uh, I want to thank you for being part of our empowerment. Again, I want to reiterate our mission. We aim to enrich, enlighten, educate, entertain, and empower. And uh, today, Joshua De La Cruz, an educator, guidance counselor, who wants to give back and le leave an indelible mark in people's heart with the hope of uh, uh, teaching or being a great role model and a great example to others. And we call that in Pinoy Power Hawaii, a big empowerment. That they pinag balaigi. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we uh, want to thank again uh, Think Tech Hawaii for giving us this opportunity to uh, uh, share our views, uh, share our thoughts uh, with the hope of inspiring and empowering others. So tune in next time, uh, Pinoy Power Hawaii. I am your host, Emmy Ortega Anderson. And thank you again to uh, our guests for today. And you will be seeing him in future segment uh, <laughs> because he has agreed to help <laughs> us with, uh, to broaden our empowerment. Joshua De La Cruz, thank you so very much. Thank you. And more power. Thank you.